Hi, welcome back. I'm Rick Bosbrink, Executive Director of Theater Historical Society of America. We're here again at the Biam Theater in downtown Pittsburgh for our inaugural Historic Theaters Day. And we're talking with our good friend Anne Irwin from the Biam Theater. So Anne, we're in a gorgeous theater. Why are historic theaters important to you? Well, uh, Pittsburgh has a lot of history mm -hmm. and a lot of very uh, important architectural history. So I think it's very important from that standpoint right. to preserve these buildings, and that's been a goal of the Cultural Trust in its um, uh, the, the theaters that it has renovated, such mm -hmm. as the Benetton Center and, and the Byam Theater. Yeah. And But of course, it's not just to um, preserve the, the history and the architecture. The Cultural Trust is very interested in making them very active performing arts venues because if you don't have people activating these spaces there's no one to enjoy this Absolutely. wonderful history so uh, creating uh, programming and series to include everyone from children to um, all sorts of audiences is very important and the Biam theater is one of the theaters that has the most varied programming right you do a lot of things here that aren't just uh, sort of the trust owned programming, but you bring in other groups from outside. This space gets used a lot where, uh, as rentals for other events or other activities. That's a great point, yes. The Cultural Trust does have the Children's Theater uh, series, the Pittsburgh Dance Council series, the Trust Presents, which is a concert and other family programming series, mm -hmm. uh, as well as other things like First Night and so on. But it is also a very active rental venue. Uh, probably 60% of our programming is um, local organizations mm -hmm. that rent the theater, as well as national touring acts that come through through uh, promoters, local and national. Right. And you mentioned that it's not just about preserving the historic theaters, but really creating a dynamic arts and culture district, which the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust has been at the forefront of doing since the late 1960s. Uh, but it's not just historic theaters. So the trust has saved some historic theaters downtown, but also right. have built new theaters like the O'Reilly Theater. That's right. The O'Reilly Theater, uh, which opened in 1999, was at that time the first new construction in a theater in downtown Pittsburgh and became home for Pittsburgh Public Theater. It was built right. for the public theater to move downtown from the north side. And they've been very happy in that home since that time. Uh, since that time, the Cabaret Theater has mm -hmm. been built downtown. Mm -hmm. um, the August Wilson Center was built not through the Cultural Trust, but right. through uh, another local nonprofit. And uh, that is an extremely active theater as well, sort of at the other end of uh, the Cultural District from the Byam Theater. Wonderful. Well, we're so excited to have the Pittsburgh Cultural Trust as a really terrific partner for THS and helping us with this first inaugural Historic Theaters Day. So thank you, Anne, and thanks to everybody at the Trust. We really want you to join in the conversation, too. So share with us on Facebook and Twitter your favorite stories of your, your favorite historic theaters and use the hashtag Historic Theaters Day. We'll be back with more.